Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the top stories we are following tonight. A Warren Township woman is dead after a crash yesterday morning. It happened at the intersection of West Saginaw Road and Frank Street in Geneva Township. The Midland County Sheriff's Office believed the crash happened when a 61 year old Isabella County man was traveling east on West Saginaw Road and tried to turn onto Frank Street. However, police say he turned into the path of an oncoming car. The woman was taken to a hospital where she later died. The man was okay. Police do not believe alcohol or drugs were factors in the crash. You can join State Representative Amos O'Neill at a small business town hall. He and officials from the State Economic Development Corporation and local partners will meet at the SVRC Marketplace. During the town hall, you will learn about the resources available for local small businesses and the tools and technical support available. There's also a question and answer session with panelists. It's Monday, April 29th from 3.30 to 5, and you can register in the hot link section of WNEM.com. The downtown Flint Art Walk returns tomorrow. A total of 18 vendors are preparing to set up along Saginaw, 1st and 2nd Streets, as well as Martin Luther King Avenue. The MW Gallery will showcase its new exhibit from her perspective, Intersections of Gender and Race, a collection of artworks depicting blackness, womanhood, and the female experience. The event also includes live music. Tomorrow's Art Walk is from 6 to 9. Now here's Chris with your forecast. David, we do have a day tomorrow that we're concerned about the wind, so we want to highlight that here as we get your forecast underway. Wind gusts tomorrow between 30 and 45 miles per hour. The thumb, we think, uh, could see wind gusts occasionally around 50 miles per hour uh, right around the afternoon time frame. So something to be mindful of tomorrow. Secure loose objects before you leave the house. We do think some power outages are possible, at least uh, a here and there thing. So we'll be watching that through the day tomorrow. Because of that, a wind advisory in place from 8 o'clock on Friday morning to 2 a.m. on Saturday. Wind gusts will likely pick up as we go through the night and into the bus stop times tomorrow. The peak of the wind will likely be late morning through early evening on Friday and then eventually diminish as we head into Friday night and also early Saturday morning. The wind gusts come down quite a bit by Saturday evening. Rain continues tonight and will continue for several more hours. We expect it to stick around through the day tomorrow. Your sky tracker shows we do have some flood warnings off to our south and east. So thank Thankfully, we're not dealing with that, but as we work through the day on Friday, rain will continue adding to the totals that we've seen thus far. It appears that some of us will be between one and two inches by the time all is said and done as we head into Friday evening. Your TV5 first alert seven day forecast shows we're off to a sunny start this weekend. Maybe some showers and clouds early Sunday, but should see the sun come out as the day goes along and then we'll keep that sun going into Monday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.